the ten, uh, ten person here, uh, if we move to the uh, the dark, the other yeah, floors uh, meeting room, probably full of the room. Yeah. So that's why uh, uh, the complex arrange uh, as a big room uh, is the main is the main uh, com comfort, uh, conference uh, room. Yeah. Uh, in this room, uh, you will see uh, in the back, you will find some gas uh, over there. Because this room is a very standard international uh, conference uh, room with the translators of uh, uh, the, the small room. Uh, that's why, because we, uh, when Zhao Zhang University of Languages is the name of languages, so we have a department of uh, uh, translation and uh, translations. Um, so, uh, so I can give some uh, very brief uh, intro uh, introduction uh, about our university. Uh, right now, when the uh, intensive departments, we we have only thirteen departments. Uh, uh, five among them uh, are English, French, Dutch, Espanol, and uh, Japan. And uh, plus one uh, half of the language department is our department, Southeast Asian Languages. Uh, we uh, Southeast Asian Studies rather than uh, languages, and we provide uh, uh, dynamics and uh, Thai and uh, Indonesian. So totally, we have the. Uh, uh, a different uh, uh, language uh, department, top department. Uh, in addition to the language department, we also have other non-language uh, majors. Uh, for, for example, uh, the department of the uh, translation and uh, media and uh, arts and uh, digital content and uh, of course international business. And uh, applied Chinese. Uh, uh, this applied Chinese is uh, teaching uh, teach Chinese as the second foreign language. Uh, and it's training uh, 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 teachers to teach uh, Chinese to the foreigner. And we also have the uh, uh, that department, of international affairs. Uh, and lastly, is the so called uh, in the Foreign language instructions. Uh, this is training uh, the children or kids uh, English or foreign language teachers. So totally, we are only uh, have certain uh, departments. So in terms of the departments, we are not so big uh, university compared to the other university. Not only in Taiwan, but also around uh, the, the world. But, but, because as I mentioned in the uh, introduction to our uh, keynote speaker, uh, because we are new, so we are faithful, and we are very uh, courageous, uh, and dare to continue, uh, continually, yearly, to organize this kind of conference internationally. Yeah, so uh, we are very happy uh, to uh, have you here and listen to uh, the panelists, their very insightful uh, presentation. So I think the problem already fixed. Uh, yeah, great, great, great. So, uh, because we already postponed probably uh, 15 minutes. So may I have the, mm, may I have asked the two of this concept, uh, uh, Professor Paulus? And me, we will reduce our time of discussion. Okay, uh, <laughs> <laughs> to save more time for the panelists because they are, I think they are the, they, they are the, they are the, the important. Uh, they are very important with the uh, research. We just give our opinion, the comments. Uh, yeah, to help them. Uh, that's all. Yeah. Okay, so I just uh, brief my uh, sh uh, sh I shortened my interview. Uh, first, uh, uh, I'm the one being up head of the department uh, as a member of that, 
and the thick our discussion is the Professor Paulo Salud of Uni Minato. Uh, Professor Profit from the Research Center for Area Studies, uh, National Research and Innovation Agency, Indonesia. Yeah. And our part, and our first uh, article will be present, will be, uh, will be presented by the Professor Zhuang Yuan and uh, uh, <laughs> just for <opening. laughs> Uh, with his colleague, uh, Li Gyo Kan Kan. <laughs> yeah. uh, they are from the Fulbright University, Binan. And the second, uh, and second uh, present list, present list, <laughs> presenters uh, would be us uh, from the Greater Kalima in Adepa, I'm so sorry, from the Philama Christian University, uh, Philippines. They are uh, Sing Lester DePio and John Ray Ma Florence. <laughs> yeah. And the second uh, from the West Visaya State University. Uh, and the second is Mary Anthony Day Fajardo uh, from the Famous Christian University. Okay, okay and, uh, and the third uh, panelist uh, is also from the Philippine Chris Christian University, Philippine, uh, Marie. Uh, uh, is the name? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, the first, uh, the first name. First also would be the Mary, uh, just that uh, I introduced the, and the second also would be the Rolling Rolling Oats. Uh, <laughs> and the final the uh, final panelist uh, is the Dan Gyo Chuan. Dan Gyo Chuan. Doctor Dan Fang is uh, now is pleaded with the faculty of orientation. Uh, Oriental Studies, uh, B N U. Uh, I I think it's uh, B N B N Han B N Hanoi. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so sorry. B N U University of Social Science and Humanities. Uh, yeah. I think I uh waste too much time to, to introduce due to myself in the university. So and the next uh, uh, the old panelist uh, will move forward, move on uh, move on uh, out of stage, move down and uh, we will leave the first uh, panel panelist uh, to present uh, their uh, uh, paper. Okay? So let's move. this year, uh, Southeast Asia, the state versus the market versus uh, society. And then we will look at how uh, the state intervenes into the market in Vietnam and where it can serve the purpose of the states are not 
and uh, fulfilling the ambition of becoming an industrialized nation by 2045. Um, uh, I will uh, say some kind of introduction uh, in the first presentation and then I will leave it to my colleague to finish it up. Uh, how many minutes do we got? Do we have? Oh, 12 minutes. Okay, thank you very much. Um, when we see uh, the term constructing a developmental state, uh, constructing the developmental state and state land industrialization, and then we think about the intervention of the state uh, into the market. Uh, uh, first of all, I think that uh, we have five things uh, to say about uh, Vietnam right now. And we are on the read up. The first one, Vietnamese leaders are very t determined uh, to industrialize to, to industrial nations. And it's considered uh, to be the top priority of the Vietnamese leaders right now, no matter how domestic politics is, no matter how the global context is, the leaders are very determined to turn Vietnam into an industrialized nation. And they have different stages for that ambition, uh, Vietnam by 2030 and Vietnam by 2045. And 20, Vietnam in 2045, it consider the 100 year anniversary of the founding of Democratic Republic of Vietnam. So it's considered uh, something similar as what the Chinese government is doing right now. They have the 100th anniversary for 2049. And in Vietnam, we have the same, same thing to become an industrialized and a vast economy by 2045. Uh, and on the leaders are very consistent with that target. And the second point that I want to emphasize here is it stated clearly in the party regulations that state owned enterprises must play the dominant role in. The, the economy. No matter how uh, the private sector, uh, they want to uh, spur and they want to encourage them uh, to develop, the step on enterprises must be the iron fist or the main pillar of the economy because they still want to retain their socialist ideology and the public sector is still uh, very influential in the GDP. And number three, uh, the, the third point that I want to highlight here is that they want to build the national champions. Uh, they used to build the national champions uh, around more than 10 years ago, but they are still on enterprises, but they failed with those national champions like Vinasin, Vinalize, and they, it, they incur a lot of the budget losses and billions of dollars uh, of the national budget have come to uh, come down with the collapse of those big state-owned enterprises. And now uh, Vietnam has another model uh, to follow that is South Korea and where the Vietnam can build privately owned uh, enterprises like big channels like what we can see in South Korea now instead of a big corporation owned by the state. And the, the, the fourth one, if we look at the political discourse of Vietnam over the last few years, and we can see that the Vietnamese leaders focus on uh, big terms and big words about uh, industrialization. For example, a few years ago in Vietnam, everyone was talking about industrial revolution 4.0. And just two or three years ago, they mentioned a lot about semiconductor, a chip making. And this year, with our new general secretary and state president, and he talked a lot about green energy and energy transition, uh, as well as digital transformation. And then uh, we keep on with our uh, colleague, and she will talk about other things of our state lab in industrialization and that how the government is rolling out their plan for industrialization, please. Uh, a 
Okay, hello. Um, so I will continue on uh, the presentation. Uh, so as we recognize that a Vietnamese uh, economy is um, the uh, socialist-oriented uh, economy, uh, market economy. Uh, so uh, you can see that there is, there is a, a very huge um, intervention of the state, um, and uh, we can witness uh, the significant roles of the SLEs. Uh, the SOEs in the Vietnamese market, uh, and uh, you can see um, the state controls um, uh, in the uh, Vietnamese market are uh, the problem that leads to several uh, inefficiencies in Vietnam's uh, planned industrialization, uh, because um, uh, uh, based on the industri uh, industrial uh, policy, uh, we can see that uh, when it is in the practice, um, um, the, in, um, the government uh, just developed uh, the industries that favor uh, the government's wish <coughs> and desire. Okay, um, so uh, let's talk about um, the resolution uh, number uh, 23 um, on the national industrial development uh, policy. Uh, because uh, since the establishment of this resolution, uh, it is like um, uh, a, a remarkable like uh, point of um, a new industrial policy for Vietnam. So with a very big goal, uh, orientation for building a national industri uh, industrial development uh, policy in uh, 2030 and the vision to uh, 2045, um, and the the big general goal of this uh, resolution is that Vietnam has to strive to complete the goal of industrialization and modernization and be in uh, the top three leading countries in the ASEAN region um, in industry. And also for the vision of uh, 2045, uh, Vietnam has to become a modern uh, industrialized country. Okay, so we can see um, some uh, like main goals of the resolution number 23. Uh, so uh, some like remarkable points here is that the uh, proportion of industry in uh, GDP uh, must reach over 40% and uh, for manufacturing industry in GDP uh, it has to reach about like uh, 30 percent uh, with the manufacturing industry uh, over 20 percent uh, and uh, for industrial co competitiveness index uh, the CIP uh, Vietnam must be in uh, among the top uh, three countries in ASEAN okay so uh, look at um, uh, this year uh, so far we can see that uh, for the sector um, uh, agriculture and forestry um, and fishery, uh, it is about uh, over 11%. And we can uh, we can see that for industry, it is now above uh, 35%. And manufacturing is already uh, over 20%. Uh, however, uh, when the government wants to develop industry like this, um, and when Vietnam is now uh, like our orient to um, uh, carbon, carbon free um, country. So we have to reconsider uh, like how um, the government will deal with um, how to balance between uh, industrial uh, development, industrialization and uh, keeping uh, the carbon uh, free uh, in um, uh, our country. And um, okay, so um, uh, although we have some uh, of developments like that, we still witness some of the uh, difficulties in um, the, de the development of uh, all of the industries here. And uh, we can see the low domestic market demand is uh, the biggest um, uh, difficulty here. Okay, so uh, let's talk about uh, one very big case here, uh, VinFast, uh, which belongs to Vingroup, a very uh, big private um, uh, corporation in Vietnam um, because uh, VinFast is now um, uh, producing uh, electric vehicles uh, so and um, receive a lot of incentive from the government regarding the tax 
so uh, we can see that uh, the, the government was to push VinFast uh, as a national brand, um, uh, an international brand uh, also. Uh, and we can see that VinFast is now um, like uh, spreading uh, the brand to uh, the US market and then uh, Indonesia, um, India. Um, so we can see that, uh, but it is not really successful because uh, there are few vehicles sold in the US and um, uh, we can see that uh, VFAS has witnessed uh, the death loss uh, like more than before uh, so <clears throat> um, and uh, VFAS um, uh, because it is not effective so uh, all of the vehicles uh, are pushed into the taxi service so we, we have uh, the green SM uh, over here the company green SM right okay so the big question is that uh, is it um, like what's the government's desire um, like I'm oh, sorry <laughs> okay, okay. One more minute and finish. Oh, so uh, I just want to do uh, uh, raise a very big question here for one minute, okay? Uh, so is it like um, the Korea style, uh, J-Ball, uh, Samsung, or uh, a China style, Evergrande, uh, like we have uh, seen um, that uh, the, there, there was a big uh, bankrupt in um, Evergrande uh, from a very big uh, estate company to uh, when, when it uh, uh, turned to um, reducing electric uh, vehicles as well and um, uh, then uh, failed all the way so uh, we have to consider okay so uh, in the, few, the next few years uh, what happened to VinFast <coughs> Okay, so uh, and then we um, like uh, reconsider again the, the industrial uh, policy of uh, Vietnam. So we can see that the intervention of the government to the policy makes uh, some uh, like potential efficiencies in um, like the practice of industrialization. Uh, so we are uh, uh, quite doubt um, uh, the the effectiveness of the industry. Uh, uh, set in the uh, resolution number 23 okay and that's that is all about uh, our presentation and the paper thank you very much thank you for our first uh, panelist uh, present uh, here very interesting topic about uh, uh, how how the Vietnam government could uh, create or, not, or help to uh, create a, uh, a jungle uh, like called Korea jungle or big uh, um, group uh, like Samsung. So, so uh, I think the question is that I'm, I'm awake, so we have uh, more time to see the result of the actual policy. Yeah. And the second, second uh, welcome to our second uh, panelist, the presenter there, uh, uh, Africa. Thank you.